Hello and welcome to BuildBox. In this video, we want to cover some navigation options and tips and tricks for using this scene editor, which is this center section here and where you'll spend most of your time working in BuildBox. Now, a group of scenes can be an endless game, a level, a world, or even more. The scenes can be mixed and matched in order or randomly, as we'll discuss later. In the scene editor, you can rotate, scale, and move any sub-assets that were dropped into BuildBox. But there are a couple additional key shortcuts and techniques that we want to share to help make your workflow a little quicker. Holding the space bar, you can use the hand tool in the scene editor to move about through your scene. Scrolling up or down with the mouse wheel allows you to zoom in and out of your scene, so this in combination with the spacebar is something I like to use frequently to get to the relevant part of my scene that I'm working on. If you right-click an object in the scene editor, you can change the object's visual stacking order by sending it forward or backward. And if you press Command or Control and right-click an object, it will list all objects behind the cursor so you can get a quick breakdown of what objects lie underneath the object in a visual stacking order. If you'd like to duplicate an object quickly, you can select it and use the W, A, S, and D keys to duplicate an object up, left, right, and down, which makes it really great if I wanted to make a repeating series of ongoing objects very quickly. And if you select an object, and hit the number keys or control plus the number keys one through seven, you can change the object preset type. So for example, this is one, platform, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. So that's a quick way to change your sub asset presets without going up to this drop down each time. Then in the top right corner of the scene editor, we have these toggle buttons. This button toggles the game frame and you can see the frame for the scene as well as the character movement frame and make adjustments as desired. As we've discussed previously with the character game frame, you can adjust the character frame by clicking and dragging these orange corner points. And if you select one of the sides of the game frame, you can set the frame settings for pass, block, or defeat depending on your game setup. So for example, if we wanted to set the bottom of the character frame so that the character is defeated each time they pass a certain point, like if they dropped off an edge, we could set that to defeat here. Simply clicking on any of these sides will toggle through the different options. The next toggle button in the scene editor allows us to lock the backgrounds. This is great so that you don't accidentally select and modify the backgrounds. The magnet icon allows you to snap movement for sub-assets. This snaps the movement of any sub-asset to 5 pixels so that it makes for easy alignment. The connection icon allows you to enter into connection mode, and the keyboard shortcut for this is Alt or Option, depending on whether you're in a Mac or a PC. And finally, the bug icon allows you to enter debug mode, which will show you all collision shapes and debug information. Thanks for watching. 